Hello, this will be a demonstration of how some of the ancient Pakawish tals and tegas can be adapted to the tabla. The Pakawish being the ancient barrel shaped drum that is used to accompany the very old drupad style of singing. <clears throat> tabla, of course, is used to accompany kayal, vocal, and instrumental music. But the tabla can be used and played in a style that's very much like the Pakawish. One thing you want to do is not play the keen R stroke or the outer edge which is a very much a tabla sound. Instead, you'll be using the tin and the tune, or the din, played with the full hand. The 12 beat teka, known as chotal, is, uh, which is the very famous tal used for accompanying drupa music, is uh, sounded like this. Da, da, din, ta, tete, da, din, ta, tete, kata, gadi, gina, da, da, din, Ta tete da din ta tete kata tete kata gadigina. This will be played in the same tempo or medium speed as Chotal, but the bowls or the strokes are sounding like this. Din, din, dage, terikita tuna, ta, ta, dage, terikita din, na, din, din, dage, terikita tuna, ka, ta, dage, terikita din, na. Chotal on the Pakawish and the new style or you know the tabla style uh, of Ektal at a medium tempo. We can also make that a 10 beat cycle for the Pakawish style by playing the first six beats of Chotal and then Tete Kata Gadigina. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Chotal is used to derive the 10 beat Soltal. We can also create a 7 beat cycle by playing just the last 7 beats of the Chotal cycle. So we would have da da din ta tete da din ta tete kata gadi gina. So starting on the da da din ta tete kata gadi da din. is used to derive both 10 and 7. There are other variants, of course, but uh, that's how you can be resourceful with the material. You can also play in Solfaktal, which is a 5-beat cycle. It's a very rolling stroking pattern using Da Girinaga, D Girinaga, Ga Di Girinaga. So 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. Da Girinaga, D Girinaga, Ga Di Girinaga, Da Girinaga, D Girinaga, Ga Di Girinaga. cycle. It's all open by a very rolling. Very fun. Uh, you can also turn that into a 16 by just 
repeating the da gitter naga di gitter naga twice. So you get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one. Da gitter naga di gitter naga da gitter naga di gitter naga da di gitter naga da gitter naga di gitter da gitter naga di gitter naga da di gitter naga. Using those particular combinations of strokes in two, which are Giranaga. Giranaga, 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 Giranaga. There's your two. Giranaga. Or the Da Giranaga, which gives you the three. Also the D Giranaga. Da Giranaga, D Giranaga, Da Giranaga, D Giranaga, Da Giranaga, D Giranaga. Or the four, which is a Ga D Giranaga. So you still have the Giranaga, but it has a so using the two Giranaga, the three Da Giranaga, D Giranaga, and the four Ga Di Giranaga, you can really create quite a lot of improvisations. Uh, so much of our rhythm is connecting twos and threes and fours. So, I hope this has been informative, a little bit of history on the um, Pakawa side and a little bit of tabla and how they work together. Thank you very much.